hey Chimicum 6th graders, so by now you should have your team all set up. So that way you can choose who's going to be your uh, guardian, mage, and healer. You want to have one of each on each team or it's going to be hard to play the game. So let's review. Your guardian, uh, in the fantasy setting, they're called guardian. In the science fiction setting, they wear the yellow uniform and they're the command and operations officers. That's the one who protects their teammates from taking damage. Uh, you've got the mage which the mage is the one who gives the teammates AP, AP or action points, so you can use your powers. Run out of action points, can't use your powers. Now, in the science fiction genre, the mage is the engineering and security, and they wear the red. And then you've got your healers, like this one here, who uh, give their teammates HP. They replenish health points when you take damage. And in the science fiction genre of Star Trek, they wear the blue uniforms and they're the science uh, and medical officers. Once you've got your character customized and you're ready to go, see this thing here that says start your intro quest? You know, click on it because this is going to teach you how to do quests in Classcraft. Now this first quest has a video, so you're going to click on it and watch it. After you've watched the video, you just click on start quest. It's that simple. Look what happened. It takes you to the very next quest. Now, if it ever branches off into two or more quests, guess what? That's right. You choose which one you do next. It's nice to have choices, but this one, there's only one choice. New beginnings. So I'm going to click on it. Read the story, because come on, story is what makes life exciting. And then when you get to the bottom, always scroll to the bottom because that's where you find the green buttons. And then it takes you to the gauntlets of power. And this explains how the uh, powers work and, and all this good stuff. But you see there's a story and there's a task. When you continue, the task tells you what to do. Now this one, you just have to read it. So after you read it, uh, you click on task complete. And look what that does. That sends you to the next quest. Now, don't worry if you ever complete a task and it doesn't take you to the next quest because if it stops you right there, it's waiting for me to check your work, make sure you did it right. And if you didn't, I can give you feedback to help you. And if you did it right, I'll approve it. Boom! It'll unlock the next assignment. Uh, and sometimes the task will be a Google Classroom task and it connects right to your Google Classroom. So in science, you go through Classcraft, that will connect you to Google Classroom. And that's it. Pretty cool. Uh, once you finish this one, though, and you, and you have your character set up, you're going to go to Quests here, and you're going to see the first actual science one, which is the Starship Equinox. So when you open that one, it'll start you with the introduction has another video for you to watch. Tells you about how Classcraft and Star Trek are going to merge this year. Pretty cool to have science, fiction, and fantasy. And then when you start the quest, boom, look, you have two choices. So you can go uh, to introduce yourself or to personality types. By the way, introduce yourself is one you have to do at home because you're going to record a Flipgrid video and see cohort. Many of you have already done it. Thank you so much. Uh, but I want you to do it at home so I can see your face. Just like this. You can see my face. And that's how you do it. So happy questing. You know, you can get as many of these assignments done in a week as you can. And that's how I know you're busy, you're working, and you're learning.